You are not your body, you are not your flesh, but you are a spirit. You have a soul. Good evening. I'd like to welcome you to our Wednesday night life experience. Tonight you're worshiping with the Life Church located here in Atlanta, Georgia. And we're so grateful that you made the decision to be a part of this experience. This is the last Wednesday of the year 2022. We're so excited because this year has been exactly what God promised. It has been the year of the big. We've seen God do some tremendous things in the life of our church and our membership. Not just small things, not ordinary, not regular things, but they have been tremendously big. And so God has been big toward us and we want to give God a big praise for all that he has done. And so tonight as we gather to worship in this moment, I again say thank you for joining us. And take a moment even in this moment to like and share uh, this stream to your personal timeline, you who are viewing on Facebook, and then you on who are on YouTube, if you would subscribe to our channel if you have not done so already, like the stream, and then copy that address and paste it to your social media outlets. We'd be so grateful. Someone you know needs this experience. They need to hear the word that is getting ready to be released. So make yourself a blessing and share this stream with those that you know. Again, get ready to hear a life-changing word that's getting ready to bless your very life. Can you lift your hands up to Strength like no other today. We need you, Lord. We need you. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. You are my strength. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. And it reaches to me.
Come on, we put our hands together tonight and we give our, our God praise tonight all over the house. Let's put our hands together. Open our mouth and bless his wonderful name. He is our strength. Amen. I said he is our strength. Hallelujah. I'm grateful tonight. Hallelujah. He's your strength. Hallelujah. We bless him and we glorify him. He's the strength that keeps us from fainting. And we say thank you. Hallelujah. Would it seem like you don't have strength to go any further? Amen. He has the ability just to breathe strength in your life. Hallelujah. When you said you can't do any more and then you realize, yes, you can. Because he is our strength. One more time. We clap our hands. Bless, bless his wonderful name. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. You may be seated in his, in his presence on tonight. Uh, to you who are in the building, God bless you. And to you who are seated in our online sanctuary, uh, we greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's good to gather together tonight for this purpose of worship and uh, I'm grateful for it. I'm grateful for another month. We have now moved into the 11th month of the year. Amen. You've made it. Ten months behind you and two months in front of you. God's been good to us. We've made it this far and we are grateful. Hallelujah. I said, I'm grateful tonight. Everyone that started in January are not here tonight, but you are here. I'm here, and I am I'm grateful, not because we didn't have opposition, but God was merciful, gracious toward us, that allowed us to survive everything that came at us these last 10 months. I said, you survived everything, every attack, every strategy, every scheme, every, all of it. You survived all of it. Ten months of opposition, ten months of a strategic enemy trying to take you out. You survived all of that, and here you are here tonight. That's a good place to give God praise. That's a good place. We survived sickness and, oh my, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. We survived it all and we're here tonight. Truth be told, we survived more than we realized we survived. Oh, my, more has come against us than we realize. Amen. There was a shield about us. Oh, my. I'm going to the word. Hallelujah. Oh, my. But I wish somebody go in the comment section and said, all year long I had a shield. I had a shield around me. I had a shield around me. Oh, my. In other words, most of the things that came against me, I don't even know about because they were blocked by the shield. I only know what got by the shield, but because he's God, even if it got by it, he still protected me, and I'm here tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, my. That's a good place to give God praise. I said, that's a good place to give God prayer. I don't know what bounced off the shield. I, I don't know. I don't know what came and couldn't get through it. But I am grateful tonight that God has sustained us. If it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, don't you think it was you? Don't you think it was your strength? It was your wisdom. No, it was God. God has kept us. He that keepeth Israel, he is the one who keeps us. And I am grateful tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's a good keeper. Hallelujah. He's a good keeper. And we bless him. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Why don't you look at somebody and say, you've made it this far. You've made it this far. You've made it. You made it this far. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In spite of it all, God's been good to us. I said, God's been good to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My good days, somebody said, outweighs my bad days. Oh, my, anybody got the testimony? I had more good days this year than I had bad days. Hallelujah. I did have a few, but I had more. I had more good days. I had more. I had more good days. Hallelujah. Oh, my. Can you thank God for the good days? I had more. I had more good days than I had bad days. <laughs> I'm not going to fixate on the bad days because I had more good days than I had bad days. Hallelujah. And because he's so God, he's so much God. Even my bad days, he worked it together for my good. Uh, that's a good place to give him praise. I said even the bad days, he worked it together oh my look at somebody said he's working it together he's working it together for your good hallelujah i don't care how bad it was god's able to work it together for your good and we bless him we give him praise tonight we give him great glory he is deserving of our praise hallelujah great is the lord and greatly to be praised we bless him you may be seated in his presence god bless you tonight god bless you if you haven't done so already uh even uh as we have gathered tonight uh, you who are viewing in our online sanctuary uh, you're already viewing on uh, uh social media outlet why don't you just go ahead and share that if you're on facebook like and share this to your personal timeline. You who are in the sanctuary, you can do so also. Again, if you're on Facebook, just like and share it to your personal timeline. And then go into the comment section and tag somebody. Tag somebody. We're going to be talking about stewardship in a moment. Tag somebody who needs to hear this teaching on tonight. Somebody you know needs this teaching. You who are on YouTube. Uh, go ahead if you haven't done so already click on that bell and subscribe to our channel uh, you can like the stream also I believe it's a hand there that you can just push that uh, just click on that and that will like the stream and then you can also just copy that web address and paste it to your social media outlets this will allow you to share uh, tonight's worship experience with someone someone's going to tune in while we're in worship and then somebody's going to tune in later but the word is still going to be good amen if they get it live or they get it after the fact the word is still going to be good so go ahead take that moment and uh, in this moment be a, a tech uh, evangelist as you share the gospel with others on on tonight I I want to salute this house for uh, such a tremendous weekend this past weekend a tremendous weekend I told elder I said my my body's still recovering hallelujah I'm still recovering uh, I can see some of the saints are still recovering too uh, but it was a tremendous weekend uh, there, there's certain uh, certain times you just you want to be present you want to be present because uh, history uh, you only get one one first time you, you don't you don't get a second first time you only get one chance at a first time and this past weekend was history for the life church uh, as we uh, ordain our first deacons license our first ministers and appointed uh, our most recent uh, ministry leader appointments and uh, it was a tremendous time the spirit of excellence uh, flowed in this house you should be proud to be a lifer I'm, I'm gonna say that again you should be proud to be a lifer 
You know, some people can't invite people to their church because they don't know what's going to happen. They don't know, they don't know if, if the pastor took his medication or what he's going to do. And so, so it's hard for some pastors to get their members to invite people to church because they love their church, but, but they don't know what's going to happen if they invite their friends and co-workers. But I'm grateful to be a part of a house that you don't have to be embarrassed of, but a house that you can lift your head up, be grateful to be connected to it. Um, the house uh, operates in a spirit of excellence on purpose. It doesn't just happen, it's intentional. And I, I said it before, I'll say it again, many people love the product, but they could not stand the process. Uh, and people come and celebrate the final product, but they have no idea the hours and the sacrifice that went into uh, that final product. And, and understand that excellence cost. And anybody that's good, a, a, a good athlete, an excellent athlete, guess what? They don't just show up for game. Oh my, I, I know we only show up when they're in a game, in the stands, but guess what? Before you got in the stands, they were practicing long hours when they felt like going home, when they were tired and they were in pain. They endured so that when the time came, they could operate in excellence. deserving of our best, but we also, we also do it so that everyone connected to this house, if they don't have an appetite for excellence, they will get one. I'm going to say that again. Because sometimes, depending on where you come from and your background, everybody does not have an appetite for excellence. And, and, and many times, it's because some people haven't been introduced to it. But excellence is the kind of thing, if you get introduced to it, you're going to like it. And we, amen, aim to create an, an appetite for excellence. Why? So that when you go home, when you go back to work, when you go back, amen, outside of this building, that you will take that desire for excellence there. So you won't tolerate mediocrity in any area of your life because you have tasted excellence and so understand that that is what we do why we do what we do and we celebrate God because his grace is on the house because our efforts alone aren't good enough uh, but God would grace our efforts he said he would cause the work of our hands to prosper in other words he said if you put your hand to it I'm gonna put my hand on your hand and I'm gonna make it work <laughs> and, and, but, but, but he will only do it if you put your hand to something he, he can only prosper the work of your hands. So if your hands aren't working, you give him nothing to prosper. I'm, I'm in the lesson already. Uh, he, he said he would prosper the work of our hands, but you've got to give him something to prosper. You've got to put your hands to work. And he says, if you put your hands to work, I'll put my hands on your hands and I'll make it work. I'll make it work even when the odds are against you. I'll make it work even though it looked like you're the underdog. I will make it work. I'll make it work so that everybody looking at you will not be able to understand how it works. I will give you an opportunity to testify of my power and my great assistance because nobody will be able to understand how you were able to do what you did. And that will be your opportunity to say, I only did it because God was with me. So God said, I have no problem putting my hand on your hand. Oh, my. So in other words, there are times when God makes stuff work. Mm. 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 
Oh, my. Have you ever been in a situation where all the odds were against you and it looked like it was going to collapse and fail? And guess what? You succeeded. Why? God just made it work. It doesn't even make sense. You can't even explain it. You, 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 if I was to give you the microphone, you would not be able to explain it. It was not my effort. It was not my intelligence, my wisdom. God just made it work. I trust that you're being blessed by this word on tonight. I pause to give you an opportunity to sow into the good ground of Life Church. As we are being blessed, we have a responsibility to bless what blesses us. And so I want to give you an opportunity now to be a blessing to that which is blessing you in this moment. As the word is pouring into your life, you now have an opportunity to turn around and bless what is blessing you. There's several ways for you to give on tonight. You can go to our website and that website address is www.lifechurchofatlanta.org. You can also text and give by texting life text the number to give to the number 71441. You can give via Givelify by identifying the Life Church located on Stone Road in Southwest Atlanta. You can also give via Cash App. Uh, and that cash app address is Life Church Atlanta. Whichever option you choose, that's fine. But be sure in this moment to make yourself a blessing. Get your very best seed. This will be the last seed that you release in 2022. So make this seed count. As this seed goes into the ground, expect the harvest in this upcoming year, 2023. God bless you for your giving. And now let's return to the word of God. David, how do you kill a giant with some stones? God just made it work. Oh, my. Oh, my. I, I, I killed Goliath not because the stones were so great. I killed Goliath because a great God got on the stones. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. I, I, I said it wasn't the greatness of the stones. It was the greatness of the God who got on the stones. Oh, my. Oh, my. So tonight, that's good news for the believer, that we have assistance and God will step in and make some stuff work. I don't, I, I don't know how I got accepted. I don't know how I got the job. I don't know how I got the promotion. I don't know how I got in the door. God just made it work. He made it work. He made it. I don't, Joseph was here tonight. He tell you, I don't know how I went from a pit to a palace. God just made it work. He, he made it work. I wasn't even an Egyptian. I, I had no right to end up where I ended up, but because God was on me, he made it work. 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 He, it work. he said, I'll make you the head. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, in other words, you could have woken up, woke up this morning to tell, but God said, before it's over with, I'm going to make you the head. I'm going to make you the head. I'm going to put you on top. Oh my. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to put you on top. I, 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 you don't deserve to be on top. You, 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 your, your resume does not, amen, justify you being on top, but I'm just going to put you there. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. I know my hand belongs on this one, but because, oh my, I'm going to switch up and put my hands over here because that's what I want to do. Amen. I made up my mind. I know Esau came out first, but I made my mind up. I'm going to bless Jacob. I don't care what the rules say. I'm the God who could override the rules. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Somebody go in the comment section and declare it. He's the God who can override the rule. I don't care. The rule may be against you, but God is the God of the rule. God, God can override. God can override the rule. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. That's how you got in that house. God overrode the rule. <laughs> that the loan officer said, we shouldn't even be giving you this mortgage, but God overrode the, the rule. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh my, you, you shouldn't even be getting this much for a raise, but God over, overrode the rule. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what favor does. That's what the favor of God. Hallelujah. You don't need a connection. You just need favor. You need this. You need favor. You need favor. You need favor. You need, you need, you don't need a hookup. You need favor. You need a favor. You don't need a, you don't need anybody else's assistance. You need, you need God's favor. If you've got God's favor, it would work. And we give him praise. It will work. Somebody tonight, whoever needed to hear that, God's going to make it work. Oh, my. Somebody prophesy to somebody. Tell them God's going to make it work. Stop worrying about how. Stop trying to figure it out. Amen. Put your pen and paper out. You can't explain this. God just going to make it work. God, God said, God, he said he's going to just do it. He's going to do it. Yo, the favor of the Lord is on you. He just going to. He just going to do it. He just going to do it. How it's going to happen before December 31st, God just going to do it. God just going to God just going to do it. God just going to do it. He's going to make it. He's going to make it work. All throughout the scripture, that's all you see. God just make it at work. I, I told you the other week, five biscuits and two fish just was not enough, but God just made it work. A little ball of oil was not enough to pay all them bills, but God just made it work. God made it work. God made it. A, a little meal in a barrel, a little oil in a cruise was not enough to sustain them for an entire famine. But guess what? God made it. God made it work. Stop trying to figure it out. If God be for you, if the Lord be for you, if, if the Lord be for you, who, who what can be? against you. God's got the power to make it to make it work. Put your hands together. You online, put your hands together. Come on. Come on. Praise him like you believe that. I said praise him like you really believe that. Oh my. Let that be your confession. God's going to make it work. God's going God's going to make it God's going to make it work. It's going to work with this little bit. It's going to work. It's going to work with the small thing. It's going to work. It's going to. It's going to work. You tune in tonight wondering how, and I come to tell you God's going to make it work. God has already worked out the how. God has already figured out the how. God's already done it. Amen. He's going to make it. He's going to make it. He's going to make it work. He's going to make it. He's going to make it work. We bless him. We bless him tonight. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Mother Heart, 12 years later, that's why we are where we are. It's not because of pastor. It's because God made it work. Oh, my. God made it work. God put his hand on it. And when God hands is on it, he will make it. He'll make it work. That's why he said no weapon formed against you. Mm -mm. While, while I was putting it together, I, were, I was already aware of every weapon that would be formed. And I had already decided that not one of them was going to work. Mother Evans, the Lord said, I was there when they were putting the weapon together. Oh, my. God said, I was in the room when they were constructing the weapon. God said, I even gave them the supplies. They, they used my steel, my iron, my wood to make the weapon. They thought it was going to do harm. But as they were putting it together, I was stripping it of its power. It was put together, but it was without power. Oh my, oh my, it was together. It should have worked, but God said I was stripping it of its power. Put together well, but powerless. Look good in the display, but it was powerless. 
And we give him praise. Oh my. Oh my. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Don't worry about your enemies. Don't lose sleep over an enemy. By this we know he favors us. He has not allowed our enemies to triumph over us. That's how I know I'm favored. <laughs> he kept my enemies from winning. He, he kept my enemies from taking me out. He kept my enemies from, amen, downtrodden me. He, he prevented it from happening. That's how we know we are favored. Favor of the Lord protected me against the desire of my enemy. <laughs> My enemy did not want my end to be like this. Oh my, oh my, oh my. My enemy had another plan in mind, but God did not allow the plan of my enemy to prevail. God said no. Plan it, but God said no. Desire it, but God said no. Not so, not so, not so, not so. I thank you, Lord. We bless him. We glorify him. Please be seated. Oh, my. 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 And, and while they're strategizing against you, God says, I'm over in the corner preparing a table. What? Oh, bad. While they're planning and plotting your defeat, God said, Oh, while they're wasting their effort and time. God said, I'm over here preparing a table. Uh, oh, they thought I was getting ready to die. And I was getting ready to sit at the table. Uh, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. Wow. Oh, Look at somebody. I'm getting ready to sit at a table. Uh, before you count me out. Uh, before you say it's over. Uh, before you amen. Uh, decide my defeat. Uh, I'm getting ready. prepared a table for me my enemies have prepared a weapon uh, but God uh, has prepared a table uh, I will not die uh, but I'm gonna sit right here at this table uh, oh, God bless you tonight God bless you God bless you oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh So stop, stop worrying about what they're trying to do. Mm. Lord, I didn't come here for this, but this is why you sent me. Stop worrying about what they're trying to do and start rejoicing about what God gonna do. Oh, oh my. we going home. We, we, we going home. We, we going home. We, we going home. Oh, but but, but that, that's a word for somebody. 
I said, that's a word for somebody. Stop worrying about what they're trying to do. Start rejoicing over what God's going to do. They're just going to try. But God's going to do everything. God's going to do everything. Everything. Everything he's planned. Everything he intended. Everything he willed. God's going to do it. And God's going to do it all. God's going to do it. And God's going to do it all. God's going to do it. And he's going to do it all. Yeah. Yes, yes, he going to do it all. Everything he told you, he going to do it. Everything he promised, he's going to do it. He's not just thinking about it, but he's going to do it. He's not just going to attempt it, but he's going to do it. They will try and they will fail, but God. God's going to do it. God, God's going to do it. God, God's going to do it. God, God's going to do it. Put your hands together. Put your hand together. Yes. Put your hand together. Put your hand together. Open your mouth and give him praise. God, get ready to do it. God's going to do it. God, get ready to make good on his word. God is getting ready to do what he said. God is getting ready to make good on his promise. God, he's getting ready to do it. He's getting ready to do it. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. Yes. He's going to do it. Rest and rejoice. Because he's going to do it. Rest and rejoice. Because he's going to do it. He's going to do it all. Brother JT, he's going to do it all. Not just half. Not just some. But he's going to do it all. God is going to do it all. And we give him praise. And we give him praise. And we give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless him. We bless him. We bless him. And he that hath is the here. Hear what the Spirit has said. He that hath is the here. Hear what the Spirit has said. He said what he meant, and he means what he has said. And we give him, we give him praise. Come on, lift your hands all over the house. Come on, lift your hands all over the house. Lift your hands all over the house. We bless him. It wasn't the plan word, but it was the needed word. And a word out of the mouth of God is much more powerful than a word out of my mouth. So he that have ears to hear, hear what the Spirit has said. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That's the response. Yes, Lord. 
Yes, Lord. That's how you respond. Yes, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. One more time. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, we bless you and we thank you. We glorify you. We honor you. We love you tonight. We love you because you love us so much. You love us so much that you're mindful of us. You know what we need and you know when we need it. And we say thank you. You're a good father, a good shepherd. And we say thank you. Now, Lord, let the word that you've spoken tonight, let it just rest in our souls in Jesus' name so that peace is produced so that rest is produced in the name of Jesus so confidence is produced in the name of Jesus that this people don't waver that this people will not be distracted because they are reminded that you're going to do it and you're going to do it all Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Forgive us for fixating on our enemies, for fixating on what's against us, and not keeping our eyes on you. Yes, Lord. Lord, prepare the table. Yes, Lord. Woo! Prepare the table like only you can. We thank you. We glorify you that our predetermined good end, it's sure and it will be. We thank you. We glorify you for your word is settled. There's nothing uncertain about your word, but your word is settled. It is and it will be. We thank you in Jesus' name. And we put our hands together. And we open our mouth. We glorify. His word is settled. His word is settled. His word is settled. His word is settled. It's not debatable. It's not debatable. His word is settled. His word is sure. And we bless him tonight. We bless him tonight. We bless him tonight. We bless him tonight. We bless him. We bless him. There may be someone tonight who's viewing tonight and you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ. You've entered this worship experience, but my brother, my sister, you've never received Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. Your life is, is in a mess right now. You have no idea what kind of future is in store for you. Concerned because it seemed like your life is just falling apart. But I've got good news for you tonight. There is one who loves you. There is one who desires you. He has a future that he had planned for you before you were even born. And my brother, my sister, the only way you could embrace the future that he has for you 
you must have him in your life. And I want you to know he loves you. He desires to come in. He's just waiting for an invitation from you. And if you tonight would invite Christ into your life, if you would ask him to come in and to become your savior tonight, I want you to know on this Wednesday night, he will come in, he will save you and rearrange your life. He'll give you a future that in this moment you cannot even imagine. He knows the reason why you were born, the reason why you're in the earth, and he will assist you to achieve the purpose for which you have been born. My brother, my sister, I, I plead with you tonight to give your life to Jesus Christ. Open up your heart. Allow him to come in and to save you. I'm going to lead you in a prayer tonight, and I want you to pray along with us. And as you pray this prayer, I want you to mean every word that you say. And I want you to know that not only is he going to hear you, but he's going to answer your prayer. He's going to come in tonight, and tonight he's going to save you. Get ready. Prepare your heart and pray along with us. Life, even as we're standing, let's pray together. Dear Lord Jesus, I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you came to earth. You lived and you died. You died on the cross. You shed your blood. They buried you for three days. You remained in the grave. But on the third day, God raised you from the dead. And tonight, you are alive forevermore. Jesus, I believe this, and I receive you as my Lord and as my Savior. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving me of all of my sins. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Now, come on, say this with us right now. I am. I'm saved. Come on, declare it again right now. I am. I'm saved. And we put our hands together and we celebrate you on the very best decision that you could ever make, receiving Christ as your Savior on tonight. Welcome to the family of God. I want to encourage you in this moment, go into the comment section. You'll find a link that's there. Click on that link, complete the information that's asked of you, submit it, and someone's going to be in touch with you, welcoming you again to the family of God and also getting information so that we can send you a free gift. I want to send you a little booklet that gives you explanation on what just took place in your life and what you can expect next. Again, right now you're saved and we welcome you to the family of God. One more time, let's put our hands together and thank God for every decision for Jesus on tonight. If you're viewing tonight and you're not connected to a ministry, if you're not a part of a local church, if there's no body of believers that you are connected to, you have no pastor in your life, I want to give you an opportunity also to connect your life to the Life Church. Irregardless of what city, what state, even what country you're in, you can become a part of our family on tonight. Just again, by simply going into the comment section and clicking on the link, filling out the information, signifying that you want to become a member of the Life Church. Someone from our new members ministry will be in touch with you, welcoming you to life on tonight. Anyone in the building not connected to the Life Church and want to become a part of life on tonight. The doors of our church are open. The doors of our church are open. I think it's family night tonight. We're all lifers. Come on, we put our hands together and we give God great praise. I trust that you've been blessed by the word on tonight. And even as we get ready to uh, leave out of this worship experience, I want to invite you to be a part of our watch night service this Saturday evening at 7 p.m. Yes, we're going to gather at the Life Church uh, to just give God praise for this year, 2022. We have survived every attack 
every weapon that was formed. We survived it. We're still here. And we're better now than we were when we entered into this year. And God is deserving of praise. So I want to invite you to come out and praise God with us as we say goodbye to 2022. And we invite and embrace all that is coming our way in 2023. Again, that's this Saturday evening at 7 p.m. We'll have a red carpet experience that will begin at 6.30. And our worship will begin promptly at 7 p.m. this Saturday evening. And then on Sunday morning, morning, our first Sunday of this new year, worship experience, begins with prayer at 8.30, 9 a.m., our Sunday school hour, and then 10 a.m., we will join together both in person and online as we worship God in this first Sunday of the brand new year, 2023, the year of order. And so again, thank you so much uh, for uh, being a part of this worship experience. And I pray that you have a wonderful evening and that your next days as you close out this year will be full of favor and God's blessings and that you will join us again this Saturday evening and again on Sunday morning. God bless you. We love you. We'll see you right back here at the Life Church.